So I thought today I would do sort of like a knitting vlog. Um, so I was at my knitting group and I had left my knitting at the door at home and I didn't have anything uh, when I got to the group. So I was asking the um, shop owner uh, what she would recommend for a simple beginner project and she kind of turned me on to the idea of uh, doing, uh, starting, doing some spinning. So I asked her um, how to start and she said to, you just pick a, a spool. So I got this one. It, um, she had two different designs. One had like a removable thing so you can make a ball as you go. And she said this one, beginners tend to find it easier. So this was, this is called the Top Whirl Spindle. I got it for $35 and it's made out of maple. It's got a really beautiful design and uh, Lynn, the shop owner of the Wild Flower, um, she said she got the products from a carpenter in Maine. Unfortunately, he, he stopped doing the business, but she had a lot in stock. So... I'm glad to have gotten that, and so I got some uh, wool, and um, so she recommended the Coriadel. She said that it has longer fibers, so that um, beginners find it a little bit easier. It's um, just because uh, it's easier to work with, and yeah, so I just picked a random color. I, I really didn't think much about it. I just... I was like, oh, I'll, I'll choose something with some color to it just because, you know, like I always tend to go for like neutrals, but I thought, hey, pink is fine. I had no idea what I was going to make for it, make with it. So this has about 100 grams. So I guess that's, I'm going to end up with about like the equivalent of like one ball. Um, and as you can see, it is a little bit challenging at first. My thicknesses are really all over the place. So I was just, I'm just having some coffee this morning and I was just sort of like brainstorming. Just took a sip of my coffee and I was just sort of brainstorming and I was like, what will I do with this yarn? So I, I really like to add a color to it. I don't want a flat pink. So I, and I was like, what am I gonna do with this? Like, I want to make something that I'm going to use. So I was thinking, um, well, I think I'll make myself a scarf. And if it turns out really well, I think then I'm going to make, like, a scarf set. Because I like when things match. So, you know, cross your fingers. I don't know how it's going to work out. So from there, so I went online and I found I just kind of googled pink knit hat and these are some of the pictures that came up. It was all sort of the same kind of ballerina pink. So my color is more like a cotton candy, but I couldn't really, so I'm just going to, I'm just using it as like a reference. <clears throat> so I, so I decided that I was like, should I mix it with white or off white or beige? And I'm still not sure, but I'm really liking the beige. I think it'll give it some warmth. And my jacket is black, so I think those two uh, pink and beige will look nice. So I'm going to start with a scarf, just to keep it simple, because I've I've never worked with um, this before. I don't know how it's going to turn out with the size and everything. So what I'm thinking right now, but like, of course, I might change my mind as I go. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to buy, I'm going to look through the colors at the, the knitting shop that I go to and see what's available. And I'm going to ch choose maybe an off-white or beige. I think white is too bright, even though it's really pretty, but I think I want something warmer. And then I'm going to make some beige and then maybe spin them together. I don't know if we'll see because this is pretty thick already. But I think I would like to have kind of like a blended pink and beige. I'm not sure yet. 
But yeah, I just thought I would show you the progress <clears throat> of my project for this week and what I'm working on. And uh, well, make sure to subscribe and like the video and leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or if you find what I'm doing interesting or if you have any recommendations for colors. And uh, well, and I'll see you next time.